All right, welcome to the third part of my Mario Galaxy Let's Play. Uh, now we can finally get started with the uh, the actual game per se. The first two parts really just introductory stuff. So now we're going to start the actual game, which is uh, going to all of the domes and flying to different galaxies and rescuing power stars. So I'm just going to wake up our sleepy Mario here. Can I shoot a starboard at him? Uh, didn't do it. All right. Oh, I don't think you've seen that yet. Yeah, you can shoot starboards at things. You don't want to waste too many of them. Oh, usually they say yum. When you do that. All right, so we open the pole star. And here's what we get. Get all the galaxies that can be accessed from this dome. So, currently we only have one star, the one we rescued in the last video. So, we're going to need... We're going to need, uh... To only go to this galaxy, which is... Good Egg Galaxy. Power Star Energy Patterns. Oh, they make this game sound so... Astronomically technical. Evil energy readings, really, Nintendo? Okay. Actually, we are going to be fighting a pretty wicked looking boss in this video. So, maybe that Luma's got a point. But, here we go. First official mission of the game the Dino Piranha. And there is his hiding place. But first, we gotta get there. So. Welcome to the galaxy. Let's see. These guys are annoying because they shoot stuff at you. Or not. He just sneezed, apparently. Come on, shoot me with something. Oh. They shoot you with air? Alright, anyway. Um, collect some star bits. Oh, that's right, you can just walk over the other side. You actually don't have to use the bridge. Or the pipe. But we'll go in there. Oh, what's in here? There's nothing on that door. What am I reading? Mario can read uh, invisible ink, apparently. Yeah, you can use the pipe, or you can just... No. I said I was going to do that a lot. Accidentally uh, click the read slash talk instead of jumping. You can just get up here this way. Come on. Or maybe you have to triple jump. There we go. Okay, that's... Basically what we already knew. Okay, so we can go to the bridge or we can just walk on over. Now we're on the dark side of the planet. No, didn't want to go up there. Just get some star bits. Okay, how many messages do we need about star bits? Seriously, yes, it's cool to use the Wii Row pointer in 2007, you know, but uh, at this point, it's really not that helpful to be reminded of star bits every five seconds. They are important though, I'm not taking that away. So uh, uh here's how we uh, get out of here, but uh, before we do that, it's cool. So basically, this wall is already anti-gravity. You uh, you don't feel that as you're walking up that way, but it is. There's another bridge over here. With a fierce guard. You just uh, get rid of him by stomping on his head. This is cool. We're like sideways now. What happens if I like I'm trying to long jump off here? Okay, <laughs> didn't go anywhere. Apparently, whoa, whoa, okay. 
that was already a bit of a a bit of a bug. <laughs> yeah, there are some gravity bugs in this game. I actually think Galaxy 2 has more. But Galaxy 2 also has the one of the largest bugs in any Mario game, the Yoshi Infinite Flutter glitch. So here's a little nice little hidden room. Oh, what song is this going to be? If you don't know this song, you're not a real Mario fan. Sorry, that was pretty terrible. <laughs> pretty terrible smoothness there. Yeah, the thing is on a timer, you can hear it ticking. Okay. Whoops. Okay. It's just a void of nothingness in the background. It's interesting. Alright, there's enough time on this planet. This is actually a fairly long mission if I remember. So, let's uh, keep going. Uh, he's gonna create pulse stars or something. Oh, just a sling star. I don't even need that. Okay. Maybe I did. Whatever. Okay. Oh yes, here we have mud. So we gotta get through these things. And uh, pick up all the star bits. You can jump as well. That makes it a lot easier. Oh, another thing you can do. You can smash the meteors. Oh, not like that. <laughs> you can hit them on their lava spot, ironically. That's how you smash them. No, not like that. Okay, it rolled me into the final star bit. And is now proceeding to crush me. Well, that was very helpful. Okay. I'm trying to show you how to do this. Uh, it's not that easy on this planet. There we go. You can smash them open for star bits. If you hit them right in their weak spot. But, um... A lot of signs here. Oh, this is cool. We get our first vine. Vines are a lot of fun. I believe I can get rid of him in one, one hit with a spin. Could have uh, jumped there, too. Ah! Those things are annoying. You want to shake them off as soon as you can. Oh, cool. Now we'll get started as we make our way over here. Get out of here. Okay. There's actually a uh, two ways to get to the next part here. I'll, I can show you both. Um. Oh! <laughs> thought I was supposed to go in there. That's where the meteors come out. Yeah, okay, so you can defeat this guy. I'll just chuck it at him. I thought I was supposed to do something else. Anyway, that's the more common way, but you see that little pipe over there? It's actually a bit of a shortcut. Well, it would have been a shortcut if I had just gone straight there. But if we go back to where we came from, and cross this little bridge here. Now, careful, this thing is a disappearing platform. Oh, almost killed me there. Oh, I don't get a coin because he's on a pipe. So now we, there's a little shortcut here. We have these uh, flip panels, which we saw in the uh, last video. This is actually the first Mario game to have flip panels, by the way, because they've been brought back in uh, Galaxy 2, obviously, and also 3D Land, 3D World. So, uh, oops, wrong order there. Let's long jump. No, don't go in the black hole. Okay. Actually, that might not have been any faster. But it's a alternate route. 
going to take us to the same place that vine would have taken us, as you can see. The vine was right there. More of a detour than anything, actually. So, next planet. What do we got to do here? Yes. You can't keep spin attacking. Anything down here? Oh, there is. This little mole under the ground. Actually, I'm not 100% sure how to get him out. Get the ground pound or something? No, that gets you stuck in the mud. Come on. Alright, you know what? He'll show up again in later missions. Figure it out later. I'm excited to get to our first boss battle. Alright, let's skip all those guys. No need to defeat them. Try to get some starbits. Oh, this is cool, they give you starbits while you're flying. And it's boss time. See another planet from a future mission in the background. It's cool, it makes the galaxy seem a lot more interconnected. Alright, let's pick up the starbits here. So don't have to worry about them during the fight. See, very easy first boss. But he is pretty ferocious looking. You can shoot that to get a coin. Yeah. That is useful for the harder bosses later in the game. So, uh... If you haven't figured out yet, his tail is the weak spot. And, uh... He's not the best design creature. Just striking his own tail uh, damages him. So, let's play around with him a bit before we defeat him. Hello. Come on. See, he actually can outrun you if you run straight. All you gotta do is veer off to the side and whack his tail. And now he turns red. That's spit in his mouth, so I always thought that was kind of gross. And he is a bit faster now. This battle's more dizzying than anything. It's certainly not difficult. And he gives you lots of star bits. You can collect those. And then when you're ready, just go in for the final strike. Come on. Alright, I guess I gotta get his attention again. And now veer out of the way. And there we go. This is actually a pretty gruesome death. His tongue flaps out. He turns purple again. But then he just vanishes because it's not... No actual death in an E-rated game. So... Yeah, that's the planet I was talking about. Oh no! That is... What is that planet? Yeah, we were not there in this mission. See the next mission or uh, a different one that will be there. Anyway, here's our first power star. Music's not as epic as for the grand stars. So we're going to bring that back to the terrace. Lots of star bits there. Definitely want to save. Yes. Then why didn't you thank me when I was feeding them to you? Maybe he will now. Oh. More free starbits? Oh, now he demands food. What if I don't do it? No. Oh, I have to? Wow. Okay. The lesson was how to feed you. What kind of lesson is that? <laughs> the payment was the lesson. Alright. I'll stop picking on the Lumas. They're cute. Alright, now he's going to thank me when I give it to him, at least. Okay. So... What do we have here? Still don't have enough 
stars to unlock the next galaxy. So we are once again forced to head to the Good Egg Galaxy. Later in the game you have a lot of choices as to which galaxies you're going to go to. I'm probably always going to go to the newest available one. Just to uh, progress through the game quickly. So, we have two more stars that we can get right now in the Good Egg Galaxy. And after we get the next one, this one should unlock. Maybe one of these others, I don't know when they're going to unlock. So, uh... In the next video, we will complete the second mission in the Good Egg Galaxy. Thanks for watching, everyone. Come back for part four soon.